Well, if I decide to make a video on my Husqvarna 455 Rancher and my home light, home light big red XL, Super XL automatic. They're both 20 inch bars, 20 inch chains. And I brought the MS250 out to put right beside the home light big red, but uh, this one's a little heaviest, the heaviest saw with a bigger engine. And the 455 wrencher is a 55.5 cc engine with a farm tough 20 inch bar or a 24 inch bar. You could run a 24 inch bar onto the 455 wrencher. I might use it on the on the other 455 wrencher. The one I spray painted it red. I still gotta do the handle and the and the caps. And I'll put new feel lines and grommets in it. And do a test fire on it and it'll be ready to go. And I'll be getting a chain brake assembly spring with a piece on the front off of eBay. <clears throat> and get those handguard screws and put it all together. Change the painted handle into a regular handle. And it'll be all done and completed. And then it'll be having a 24 inch bar onto it. And uh, so me and my dad are going to do one day if he comes back, we'll begin to work on that tree that fell down from the other trees. It's completely rotten out and it'll be coming down on its own probably one day. And uh, <clears throat> sorry about the background, just ignore the background. I'll just keep talking. But, uh, I might, I might use the 455 Rancher again, and I might use the Home Light Big Red Super XL, and I definitely do want to put that bad boy to the test since I done it from a year ago, about a year later, and uh, that thing is a good cutter, a very old cutter. And the chain is fairly sharp. I hadn't sharpened it. I had two chains for it. Two old chains. One already, already sharpened. Because I'm still going to use it on that saw. If that chain gets dull, I'll, sharp, I'll sharpen that. And uh, it's a very good old firewood saw. And uh, the MS250 is a 18-inch gas-powered 45cc chainsaw. And uh, I don't know if you can add a 20-inch bar onto it. You got to get the right size 20-inch bar for these. And a right size 20-inch chain for it. But I'm still going to run this with an 18-inch bar on it. I'm not going to change the bar into a bit bigger bar. I'm going to keep this bar onto that saw. Until that thing gets completely bent, I might be able to get a new Oregon 18-inch bar for it. But the front of the tip of the saw does not have a grease tip. But these two do. Right where my finger is. That's got a grease tip, and that one's got a grease tip. And that one doesn't, and the NS291 doesn't. But the old 20 inch steel bar does. And all of the motor saws had, had these holes to grease up the bars under sprocket. And there's no oiler adjuster on this uh, XL. And at there, there's no oiler adjuster on that chainsaw. Only the modern saws have oiler adjusters. <clears throat> I 
I put a 14 inch bar onto the home light XL about a few minutes ago. I like running the 14 inch bars on them. And I leave the 16 inch bar on the home light little red XL. But uh, <clears throat> they free got felon spikes. All the mother saws have felon spikes on them. They're very good old saws, and uh, I really like this thing a lot because it's not leaking no more. Put a new fuel line in, it really did done the trick without replacing the other fuel lines. And that thing ran pretty great, and I was pretty, very happy with it, the way this thing runs. And it's way a little bit light. This thing is lightweight. And this one is a little bit light, but it's a little bit heavy. And there's some, some little bit of paint coming off the saw. And there's a little scratch on the recoil. A little bit right there. But I'm kind of starting to not care if paint wars out. As long as it stays on, I don't care. There's your low and high screw needles and auto speed right there. That's your auto speed. I'm going to leave it right there so that the chain doesn't spin while it idles. And there's the button right here. In case you don't know, that's the manual oiler. These had manual oilers, but they do not have primers, the prime carburetor. But moderns had had a primer, the prime carburetor. But not the steel and not the Chinese saws. Some of them don't have primer primer bulbs, but some of them do. But some of them don't. I run fifty to one mix in all my saws, and they run perfectly. And they are very good old saws. 50 to 1 makes them last long and they'll last forever. And now I ran 40 to 1 in all my saws, which is a little heavier oil. Well, anyways. I'm not going to fire them up because I just don't want to. But anyways... Here's the video of the 455 Rancher and the Home White Big Red and the Steel MS250 Wood Boss. If y'all like this video, give it a thumbs up. And leave a comment and tell me what you think on these saws because I know my saws. I'm not going to be swinging my chainsaw all over my head ever again because that, cause that really scared me because it, cause I was afraid. I was really afraid doing that because I'm not going to be keep doing that shit no more. I'm just going to continue to do with my saws because I'm using them to cut wood. Not for Halloween, but I decided not to use them for Halloween. And the replica 455 Rancher Texas Chainsaw 3D. I'm going to I'm going to continue to use that one to cut firewood with a 24 inch bar. But anyways, here's the video on those free chainsaws. Anyways, thank you all for watching.